Why would you want a video of you starting a grill? Can any guy just start a grill? Isn't that just sort of like a, a guy DNA? <laughs> uh, it's not, it's not, it's not that I'm starting a grill. That's the cool part. It's how I'm starting it. You do a little chimney? Well, I am using the chimney, but that's not the cool part. It's not the cool part. It's not the cool part. Whoa, that's a chunk. That's a big chunk. Well, chunk. Chunk it in there. The chunk. It'll, it'll, it'll light. Okay, so what's the cool part? I should have my uh, glove on for this. <laughs> What's going to make your food taste good? You're like, mm -mm, with that. And you know, what, what was so cool about starting a grill? Not really. Yeah, so you, so you, then you're grilling with hardwood charcoal, you just aren't living yet. So, because it's a hardwood charcoal, that's why? <clears throat> it is all natural hardwood lump charcoal. That, that's the secret? That's, 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 that's the secret to good grill, isn't it? Oh. Chimney lighters, that's the other part of the secret. Of course, you gotta light it with a what? With, with one of these chimneys. Oh. Right here. That's, okay. that's another part of the secret. Okay. But that's not the whole secret. Oh. I'll show you what the whole secret is. Hold that thought. Uh, old okra? Is that a secret? The whole secret is, at the end of the growing season, don't throw away your okra. Okay. There was too much okra to eat anyways. I'm just going to eat it fast enough. Well, that and I was mainly growing that because I was looking for... A certain thing? Some genetics. Alright. Ah. Uh, and then you said you didn't even like that okra. You... You like yeah, Mark's okra better? I wound up, I wound up liking the one that I got from Mark even better. No. Oh. All right. I think you threw a season me. So, <laughs> if you happen to save your okra, I should have got this one. You'll discover that the outer part of that is like a little bark. Yeah. This comes off. Oh, it's almost like um a hair. And it's very fibrous. As a matter of fact, you can use it to Maybe break rope if you wanted to. Maybe you say that and it does happen to make really, really great kindling. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to wall this up into a ball, use that as kindling to get things started. Shit, Bert. <laughs> this little ball. Bert's like, what nice, I know. Nice, dry. This is going to catch fire and burn really good and really fast. Okay. Hi, Bert. And then to that, we're just going to... Oh, let's see. There's more of that material out here. But the inner portion <laughs> of the okra... I'll show you the bigger piece. Bird's checking you out. It's a uh, very lightweight. Yeah. What do you get? Kind of like a balsa wood. Oh, okay. Or cork even. Oh. And it likes to burn hot and fast. Uh huh. Matter of fact, you take this the central stock here. Yeah. This part. I'm just gonna whittle a bit of that away. And you see how that's kind of. Um, like a cork? It's like cork, yeah. You can actually... <laughs> it's going over. Aim it towards the thingy. <laughs> you can actually use uh, this use it. as a substitute for cork wood. And it works just fine. You can use that for a float if you're going fishing. What's up, Bert? <laughs> really really good material. But... Oh, there's Bert. Hi, Bert. The amazing gentle <laughs> Bert. Right. He's like, what's up, Jason? So we've got more of do? that. <laughs> More of that really fibrous, easy to ignite material here. Told you there's a lot of bugs out here. Yeah. I'm taking my afternoon nap, he says. And throw a couple more of these down here. It's not even summer yet, guy. Make a little pyramid. Oh, pyramid. Wow, pyramid. Oh. oh, there it is. It is a little pyramid. Okay. And old seed pods burn really well. I'm just going to put this down uh -huh. right there. Mm -hmm. Match. Little spark. Might as well. Yeah. This is an acorn grill. It's like super Let's thick. Let's try that. And they can make pizza and cookies. and You can bake in this thing. I bought this like years ago. Yeah, you can bake bread in it. 
I was like, if you're gonna get one, pick a good one. He's like, I know exactly which one I want. I was like, oh my god, he picked them. That he's middle, actually using middle, like, of, middle of summer when it's really hot out. I'll come out here and I can I can cook biscuits in it without heating up the whole without house. Heating up the house, that's right. So the air fryer is really nice. Yeah. So I'm just gonna drop biscuits. those okra pods on there. Oh, roast! He makes roast roast on this thing. Oh, his roasts are so good. Roast. All right, once that's going, put the, the chimney over the top of it and let it go. Spiffy, Here in about 10 or 15 minutes, those coals will catch. Do you leave the lid up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave, leave, leave it up. We'll leave the, the bottom open so the air can flow through there. Uh, we'll just um, <clears throat> make the neighbors jealous. Yeah. Keep looking for baby redwood trees. Like hmm, maybe there's one more we don't know about. <laughs> hmm. There might be. I, I know there's a couple over here. <laughs> what are you doing, Bert? There's a couple around the around the park that we can hit. <clears throat> because that guy's there. Who really needs to be trimmed? It needs to be more bushy then. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna prune this one back. Uh, they painted it. <laughs> yeah, I'll prune this one back whenever uh, fall comes. Hmm. What are you listening for? Well, you'll hear a little tinkle, tinkle, tinkle whenever the uh, whenever the coals are are getting started. Oh, can you hear them? Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. If you don't hear that, then your coals aren't catching, and you probably need to put some more fuel in there to get them get them going. But you do this. I know the directions say put a wad of newspaper in there, but we don't. We don't take newspapers, so... Does anybody even still get newspapers anymore? <laughs> we get old magazines. We don't take newspapers. You're trying to sell me magazines. So, it's like, what else can we use for, for kindling to get it started? It's like, well, if I hold on to that okra, instead of throwing the, the stalks away, we just stack them up and we can use the, use a little bit of that every time we, we get the, uh, the grill started. But anyway, 15 minutes from now. We'll be ready to transfer those coals over. And All right, smell you later, guys. Okay. Why would you want a video of you starting a grill? Can any guy just start a grill? Isn't that just sort of like a, a guy DNA? <laughs> uh, it's, not, it's not. Not that I'm starting a grill. That's the cool part. That's how I'm starting. You do a little chimney. Well, I am using the chimney, but that's not the cool part. That's not the cool part. That's not the cool part. Whoa, that's a chunk. That's a big chunk. Now, chunk? Chunk it in there. The chunk. It'll, it'll, it'll light. Okay, so what's the cool part? Oh, I should have kept my uh, glove on for this. <laughs> what's going to make your food taste good? You're like, mm -hmm, with that. And you know what, what was so cool about starting a grill? No, really. Yeah, so you, so you, then you're grilling with hardwood charcoal, you just aren't living yet. So, because it's a hardwood charcoal, that's why? <clears throat> it is. All natural hardwood lump charcoal. That, that's the secret? That's, 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 that's the secret to good grilling. Oh. Of course, you gotta light it with a what? With, with one of these chimneys. Oh. Right here. That's okay. that's another part of the secret. Okay. But that's not the whole secret. Uh, I'll show you what the whole secret is. Hold that thought. Uh, old okra? Is that the secret? The whole secret is at the end of the growing season, don't throw away your okra. Okay. There was too much okra to eat, anyways. I'm just gonna eat it fast enough. Well, that and I was mainly growing that because I was looking for a certain thing. Some genetics. All right. Ah. Uh, and then you said you didn't even like that okra. You you like yeah, Mark's well, okra well, better. I wound up I wound up liking the one that I got from Mark even better. No. Oh. All right. I think you threw seeds at me. So, <laughs> if you happen to save your okra, I should have got this one. You'll discover that the outer 
part of that is like a little bark. Yeah. This comes off. Oh, it's almost like um, a hair. And it's very fibrous. As a matter of fact, you can use it to make rope say that if makes you wanted to. Kindling. And it does happen to make really, really great kindling. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to wall this up into a ball, use that as kindling to get things started. Shit, it hurt. <laughs> this little ball. Bert's like, what nice, know. dry. This is going to catch fire and burn really good and really fast. Okay. Hi, Bert. And then to that, we're just going to, oh, let's see, there's more of that material out here. But the inner <laughs> portion of the okra, right, I'll show you with a bigger piece. Bert's checking you out. It's a uh, very lightweight. Yeah. What do you get? Kind of like a balsa wood. Oh, okay. Or pork, even. Oh. And it likes to burn hot and fast. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, you take this the central stock here. Yeah. This part. I'm just gonna whittle a bit of that away. And you see how that's kind of um, like a cork. It's like cork. Yeah. You can actually. <laughs> it's going everywhere. Aim it towards the thingy. <laughs> you can actually use uh, this. Use it as a substitute for cork wood. It works just fine. You can use that for a float if you're going fishing. What's up, Bert? <laughs> really, really good material. But oh, there's Bert. Bert. The amazing gentle fowl. <laughs> Bert. Right. He's like, what's up, Jason? So we've got more of do? that. <laughs> more of that really fibrous, easy to ignite material here. Told you the bugs out here. Yeah. I'm taking my afternoon nap, he says. And throw a couple more of these down here. It's not even summer yet, guy. Make a little pyramid. Oh, pyramid. Oh, there it is. There's yeah. a little pyramid. Okay. And old seed pods burn really well. I'm just going to put this down uh -huh. right there. Mm -hmm. Match. Little spark. Might as well. Yeah. This is an acorn grill. It's like super Let's thick. Try that. And they can make pizza and cookies and you can bake in this thing. I bought this like years ago. Yeah, you can bake bread in it. I was like, if you're gonna get one, pick a good one. He's like, I know exactly which one I want. I was like, oh my god, he picked the that he's middle, actually using middle it. Of, middle of summer when it's really hot out, I'll come out here and I can I can cook biscuits in it. Without heating up the whole Without house. Without heating up the house, that's right. So the air fryer is really nice. Yeah. So I'm just going to drop those hookah pods on there. Oh, roast. He makes roast, roast on this thing. Oh, his roasts are so good. Roast. All right, once that's going, you just put the, the chimney over the top of it and let it go. Wow. Spiffy, eh? Here in about 10 or 15 minutes, those coals will catch. Do you leave the lid up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave, leave, it, leave it up. We leave the, the bottom open so the air can flow through there. Uh, we'll just um, <clears throat> make the neighbors jealous. Yeah. We keep looking for baby redwood trees. Like, hmm, maybe there's one more we don't know about. <laughs> hmm. There might be. I, I know there's a couple over here. <laughs> what are you doing, Bert? There's a couple around the around the park that we can get. <clears throat> because that guy's there. It needs to be trimmed. It needs to be more bushy then. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna prune this one back. Uh, he painted it. <laughs> yeah, I'll prune this one back whenever uh, fall comes. Mm. What are you listening for? Well, you'll hear a little tinkle, tinkle, tinkle whenever the uh, whenever the coals are are getting started. Oh, can you hear them? Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. If you don't hear that, then your coals aren't catching, and you probably need to put some more fuel in there to get them get them going. But you do this. I know the directions say put a wad of newspaper in there, but we don't we don't take newspapers. So does he even still get newspapers uh -oh. anymore? <laughs> you old magazines. We don't take newspapers. You're and, trying to sell me magazines. So. It's like, what else can we use for, for kindling to get it started? It's like, well, if I hold on to that okra, 
instead of throwing the, the stalks away, we just stack them up and we can use the, use a little bit of that every time we, we get the, uh, the grill started. But anyway, 15 minutes from now, we'll be ready to transfer those coals over. And All right, see you later, guys. Oh, I can't wait until we have our little pack there. Uh, Eckert sausage, beef sausage, all beef sausage. <laughs> there we go. Now we're nice and hot. <laughs> Hit that for a minute. Wow, well, you see the heat just coming off of it. Okay. Okay. Drop your sausage on there. Oh. Eckert's all beef sausage. One for you, one for me. Nummy. Nummy. Good thing you fell. Right. And just give that a couple of minutes and we'll come around and flip it with the, with the tongs in there. Oh. They dash your tongs. Yeah. Well, yeah, they'll work. I was like, hey, I don't remember having any. I was no, looking we for something. Some, I just misplaced them. Look at everything. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. okay. Yes. Let's go back in the fridge.